it's been a hot minute. Hi, you guys. Yeah, um, for those who haven't been paying that much attention, I live in Portland, Oregon, and Portland, Oregon has been going through a little bit of things, and I've been out supporting that. Um, but I have the time to record, and since I can't record Dead Space, again, for those who've been following me on Twitter, I put up a poll for a new Let's Play to start because um, I had to lend my my TV monitor thing to my roommate so she could use it for stay-at-home work stuff because of COVID. And without that, I can't play Dead Space because I'm playing it on console. Uh, and this is the one that won the poll. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of things, hopefully, fingers crossed. I know I'm not the most consistent, but trying. Yeah, we're playing Call of Cthulhu. Wait, there we go. We're playing Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Because this is the game that got picked. And I've not seen it. Um, this is entirely blind. I just happened to have it on my Steam page. I can't actually remember where I got it from. Because I didn't buy it. I think I got it as a gift. And funny story, I'm actually married to Cthulhu, so this will be fun. That's a joke that would require an explanation, but I'm not really going to give one. Except for to say it was an old joke from an old job that I'm at. And the fact that I own a giant squishable Cthulhu. Actually, wait, I'll show you. <laughs> I own a giant squishable Cthulhu. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, uh, that's a thing. Let's play some Call of Cthulhu. New game, next slot. Hope the game doesn't shit its pants because this is the first time that I've loaded it up and I have not tested it because <laughs> I am the least professional YouTuber slash streamer that is in existence. Loading. Loading really slow. Loading. Loading really slow. Loading, loading. Please tell me I'm not going to have to do a new loading screen singing song for this game. Enter madness. I mean, I'm already mad, so I can't really enter something I'm already in. If I am mad, it is a mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. I can't remember what story that's from. Or if it's from an interview or something. I've actually read pretty much every single one of Lovecraft's works. Uh, he was hella racist! But he was still good at what he did. <laughs> and it's a shark. Hold to skip. No. I've not seen this, why would I skip it? Sup? Game saved! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> kind of looks like... Okay, that's my... That's a kind of weird shaking of the screen when you crouch. Um, kind of looks, reminds me of Resident Evil 7 in terms of like the graphical quality. Okay. This is a hold to run game. Got it. And I do know that there's a shoot command because I did all- oh Jesus. <laughs> I feel sorry for anybody who gets motion sick. Um, God, the sensitivity is way high. Can I change that? No. Control. Camera sensitivity! Turn you down. Uh, there, there, yes. <laughs> That's worse. This is what happens when you play a game blind and you don't know what you're doing. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> I didn't know which direction was the right direction. Just turn it all the way down. And now it's way too slow! <laughs> God, I am pro. 
Okay. No, fuck. There we go. That's better. Let's light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. Okay, got Hey, I entered! Hurricane lamp. I actually have a lamp like that at home. Okay, so bolt cutter. Oh, that symbol was showing me that I couldn't pick up the bolt cutter because I couldn't see it because that's how that works. The fuck was this? Okay. I broke it. <laughs> Wait, am I covered? I am covered in blood. Cool. Can I help you? Uh, can I help you? What's that? Can I take it? I want it. No? Okay. It's a whale! Well, an orca. I mean, an orca is a whale, but you know. Oh, hey. Okay. Fuck off! Okay, come at me! I have a lantern! Uh... You don't tell me what to do, Dad. I'm an independent woman. I can do whatever the hell I want. No. Ah, crap. Everything has already been written. Nice face, Slender Man. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Nice tentacles, dude. Rip. <laughs> he has no chest wound. Hi. <laughs> Blood came out of him, but he has no chest wound. I don't need to say that my game was saved. Just put the symbol in the corner. He's having the words. Well, maybe you shouldn't drink it, dumbass. Alcohol's bad for you. Uh, private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth detective. Da -da -da -da. After Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there was no lock of work for guys like me. One small ten case while another adultery settled scores disappearances are not, that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed and I should probably get rid of the empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. Okay. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Eh, gay! <laughs> it's gay. It's gay. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. <laughs> I'm okay with gay. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Fun stuff! No! I don't need music. It's been a Fuck while music. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. That bottle is clipped into the trash. Uh, doctor, the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Alcohol is bad! In excess. And, judging from your office, you have a problem with excess. Do not drink. Fuck booze. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency. No, I'm Scarlet! That's correct. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. Okay. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? <laughs> I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Great. Oh, this is your our reason to have character creation. Uh, okay, character points that you do improve the score of a skill. Okay. Uh, I start with three strength. Can I down that? No, no, no. Wait, no, no. Shit. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Reset. I just wasn't expecting to be level freaking three in strength already. Um. Oh, I can remove. Like this. No, it won't let me. Um, investigation. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this based off of the Call of Cthulhu tabletop game? Uh, 
I really want to get my hands on those books. I, lo- I actually really love tabletop gaming and like dice and Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, you guys. <laughs> um, but the problem with this, per- with the Call of Cthulhu tabletop game, is that you have to buy the freaking Dungeon Master's Guide and the Player's Guide separately, and they're both like 40 bucks. <laughs> Uh, I don't know the chance of determining the dose of the drug, making a diagnosis, or expressing an understanding of a medical problem. Proving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Chances of understanding the motivations of the person based on his or her behavior, the analysis of objects. Uh, this kind of thing will not appear in game. Okay. Of convincing or manipulating during ooh. <laughs> um, strength. Why do I start with like if it's gonna give me the option to do character point allocation? Why the hell is it already starting with like three investigation and three strength? It's not giving me the option to reallocate those points. <sighs> I'll take that. I'm pre-med. And... There we go. Start with that. Fuck it. And... Ooh, that only takes two CP to get to the next level. It takes six, six, four, four... Well, I only got two left. Fuck it. <laughs> That'll do! No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. Mm -hmm. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Shut up. Let me alone! Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Rude. <laughs> she hangs up. He hangs up on her. Rude. I'm coming. Wait. Oh, I didn't even hear a knock on the door. Oh, isn't this just freaking cliched as all hell? Down on his luck. Uh, alcoholic. Private detective. Gets one. Sir, last I came case. here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Rude. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? I don't give a shit. Stephen Webster, <laughs> industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Rude. If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. I mean, you look Sarah, like an old fool. my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. Okay. The painter. Yes. Everyone knows her work. Like that painting the you're currently accused holding. Her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. This is a Call of Cthulhu game, no sir. <laughs> I've brought all that I have. Look. I brought a painting. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Oh, uh, it looks very cthulhu <coughs> A little crazy. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. It's a nice painting. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Weird. Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. It's your damn picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. But you told me just to look at the painting. Yeah, shit. I have to hold it. What's this symbol on the man's chest? 
It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Just looks like a symbol to me. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's like very investigative y. Investigation professional, unlocked answer. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Mm. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. So we must invest. I'm aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe. That's too. a stretch. <laughs> it was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I don't know if that's how that works. Um... You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. I mean, it's been telling you she's not no. mad. <laughs> Sarah had visions everyone knew so she was that. schizophrenic she never would have heard a fly she only thought she saw things saw things what do you mean by that i never knew what she meant by that my daughter was an enigmatic figure mr pierce you must find out the truth about her life and death are you gonna pay me <laughs> i don't run a charity here dude dark water never heard of the place where is that it's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. So we're going to Innsmouth. <laughs> we're going to this game's version of Innsmouth. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Okay. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 30. Again, are we going to talk about payment here, dude? I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. The daughter is a Let's bad guy, isn't she? <laughs> An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting. Sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Now we're talking about payment. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Excuse you? Something's queer. But it's not like I have gay. a choice. <laughs> Something's gay. I know Dark that he means water. queer in the old way of. I think I've got a book queer. on the North Atlantic. I just love. I'll no doubt, find some information Shush. on this island in there. Oh yeah, thing. Oh. Learning of medicine. Cool. Oh, I got a thing. Oh, I got medicine for. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize that would actually help anything. Did it? Doesn't look. Oh no, I got like two percent. Cool. I like a Lost thing. Lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Goddamn right. Just obeying your orders is not courage. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, 
It was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Well then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. It's fine. Let's get out. Achievement unlocked. Sarah Hawkins gate. Don't give fucking achievements for just... Alright. I don't like achievements for just random progress. Like, if you're gonna need to give random progress achievements, do it after... Do it at, like, the end of the game. Or, like, here's your achievement for finishing the game, because that's an achievement. A progressing in the storyline of a game, normally, is not an achievement. Like, give achievements for getting particular endings or particular reactions from characters. Don't give progress achievements. That's just... That's just filling out your achievement quota if you can't think of achievements for anything else. This is gonna have lots of long loading scenes, isn't it? Being stared at by my bunnies. The game's loading. Don't look at me like that. Okay, now I'm being stared at by the chinchillas. Hi. It's always creepy. Oh, when you're getting stared at by rabbits and chinchillas because they don't really blink. It's not a lot. <laughs> They're just staring at you with their soulless eyes. The game looks so nice. And I say this is somebody who spent the last couple days modding Skyrim to hell. <laughs> so many graphics mods. A game by Cyanide Studios. Cyanide is bad for you, okay? And my face is gonna be covering those words on my phone. We're almost there. Who are you? <laughs> At least you don't have a fishy countenance. This is Cthulhu. And I know that technically the anim pronunciation is something like Cthulhu or Cthulhu. And that's how I pronounced his name for the longest time, but the standard accepted pronunciation of it is Cthulhu. Sort of like Jeff versus Gif. Um, so I'm just gonna stick with Cthulhu. But yeah, so this is Cthulhu. And we're dealing with Cthulhu. We're not going to Innsmouth. We're going to Dark Water, even though it looks like Innsmouth. <laughs> if I start seeing people with fishy faces or fishy looks, I'm gonna have to have Stay a discussion. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Thanks. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Don't worry about it. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. Okay. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. That's a blood. You know what? I'm gonna look at the whale. Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. No! Mitchell may no not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. Alcohol is bad. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. I wanna go see the whale. I wanna go see the whale. I wanna go see the whale. 
Police do their work. Why do you need police? Hey, Can't you go any faster? For a while. How old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. Oh wait, was Can't something caught? That. Hi. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Do you know who I am? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? Rude. I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. Why? You can't? Or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please. Allow me to do my job. You look kind you of fish. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's There's something coming. Trouble. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anymore. You guys look kind of fishy. There's no way to treat an omen. You guys, oh, yeah. I mean, are... He's gonna get us into your wives wouldn't happen to be you can't fishy, would You're they? Not sailors. It's a sign. It's an original call of Cthulhu slash Innsmouth joke. Something real bad. About marrying fish people and having uh, relations with fish people. Side objectives go to the bar. Just now. Hi. I said you were a Can I help you? There's nothing for you here either. Beat it. You Rude. Okay, bye. Andrew Jack says, talk to Fitzroy. He'd be a peer, right? Can I take this? No. Harbor Master! This place is very Innsmouth-y looking. Uh, that's a thing. Let's talk to this guy. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. Rude. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. Wait, are they over here? I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. <laughs> he just doesn't care that I'm looking around is looking around at all this shit. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Oh yeah, I really need to find this uh warehouse. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Oh, yeah, it's another thingy. Okay, so it does. It gives you 2% to whatever skill. Cool. I'm s Don't mind me, Mr. Man. I'm just exploring. I like to explore. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Hmm. What a macabre souvenir. Can I jump? No. <laughs> I can't jump off of cliffs. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you go. Oh wait, no, he said he was going to the deck. Never mind. <laughs> Hello? Is he not out here? Fitzroy! Oh, there he is. Hi. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. And do you know where Warehouse 32 is? Or 36 or 26? The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Um... I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I prefer- <laughs> He does yell at me! <laughs> Are you being blackmailed? Lol. Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. Rude. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about Shoot her that. in the face. I was looking at your photograph, one of the man in front of the boat. 
Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. He doesn't it care that I just went through all of his shit. <laughs> I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're oh, That was the thing on the second floor, wasn't it? Um... Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or what. Sure about that? I don't remember <laughs> having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Um... What did Charles Hawkins really do? Really? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. Miraculous catch? So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had <coughs> contracts of another kind. With mm, whom, I wonder? That's suspicious. He probably has some contracts with fishmen. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. The fucking police officer wouldn't answer I'm that? <laughs> you know who the building belongs to, don't you? No. Uh, you underestimate. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Okay, bye bye. She'll be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay. I got a character point. Yay! Can I do anything with it? I have two. Um. Having more investigation seems like a good thing, and having more eloquence seems like a good thing. I think I'm going to. Primarily focus on eloquence, investigation, and spot hidden. Those seem like a good three. And then maybe I'll branch out a little bit into medicine. I know enough about Cthulhu to know that putting poison to a cult is generally a bad thing. Granted, this is a video game and I don't know how deeply into the mythos they're going to go, but I do know that generally having knowledge of the occult in a Cthulhu game is a bad thing. <laughs> or at least in a Cthulhu mythos, because that's how you lose sanity. And I see that we have a sanity tab, actually. <laughs> Mental trauma, great. Hey, my sanity is stable. That's something. I got a lighter. Um, clues. Letter. These are the characters. That's me. So yeah, I'm going to put it into... I'll put one there, I'll put one there for now. Okay. It seems like a good idea to spend character points as you get them, and not just build it up, and wait until you have enough to do one level, because it, that's just the way it seems to me. Somebody can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because that way you have higher percentages before you reach the next threshold of a level. If this is sort of based off of the... Um, tabletop game, which sort of looks like it's a simplified version of that. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the first video, you guys. Yeah! I'm liking it so far. I mean, we haven't seen much, and the fact that I have a crouching feature makes me think that I'm gonna be doing some stealthing, and the fact that I know there's a shoot button uh, makes me think that there's gonna be some combat. But that'll be later. My name is Mr. Scarlet Teenager, and I've been playing some Call of Cthulhu 2018. I'll see you all in the next video.